My friends, hello everyone. I am glad to inform you that I finally have a new Techno Spark 20 Pro. This model is very affordable in terms of price quality, price performance, price characteristics. What they did, especially with memory, I was amazed, of course. This phone comes with a memory of 12,256. That is even better than some flagships. Some flagship models start with 8,256 memory, not to mention about the iPhone 5 and 5 Plus, not Proshka. There is generally a memory of 6,128, and here 12,256, and this phone costs less than $200. I said that in 20 you will probably see Techno more and more often your friends know because they make such offers that are really difficult for a person to refuse. Coming to the store, seeing this, seeing how much there is here and what it offers this phone for little money will naturally make a choice in favor, Techna. Let me tell you how much it costs now and in what colors it is sold. It seems to me that I took the most interesting, the most exclusive, the most unique color, so friends, attention! Now, such a phone with a memory of 12,256 costs $180, but I got it even cheaper. It didn't cost about $140 in total. There is also a version 8 with 8 GB, also 256 gigs. Let me show you now how it looks. Live, what are these guys doing? I just don't know. They're just scattering all the competitors. It's something incredible. And here we see, of course, a masterpiece, Helio G99. They really love this processor tech NO company, just loves they do, do, do. It's just as planned that they already have so many models coming out on Helio G99 that I've already lost count. Main camera, 108 megapixels front, 32 megapixels, there is an NFC module, you know, this phone purely hits by characteristics, by paper characteristics, by quantity. That is, this is, if you read it characteristics on paper, it beats any iPhone really purely stupid in terms of characteristics on paper, in terms of quantity megapixels, in terms of amount of memory, in terms of battery, purely in terms of numbers it wins. Well, almost everyone watch, this is a white and orange box inside. My phone is packed in a bag, and here there is also such an advertising, as it were, information film of 108 megapixels, 32 full HD screen, 120 hertz. And the advantage of this screen is that it is not AMOLED matrix. And now many are looking for especially phones with IPS screens, because many people don't like how Alad's show is. Many don't. I like that the eyes get tired after Alad, and there are fewer and fewer phones with IPS screens. And this is exactly the case when, in principle, good characteristics, not high cost, and the usual familiar IPS screen 12 gigabytes operatives, plus more for 9 you can expand it. Helio processor, G99 5000 battery, and 33 watts fast charging. I removed the film underneath. Unfortunately, there is no protective film pasted, but the screen here is so smooth that is like a smooth, slippery one already has some good oleophobic prints. That is, the guys applied some sort of good coating to the screen that according to it, well, it's really, really nice to work with such a screen. No fingerprints remain at all, so I'm even trying. Now we're deliberately trying to shut him up somehow dirty joke that they put films, but they put them in the kit, that is. They don't. They glue it from the factory and put it separately. You will have to glue it yourself or already glue the glass and the guarantee is 12 months plus one additional month. We have some kind of documentation like this silicone transparent case included. Look, by the way, this color is the one I was talking about and this coating is also not plastic, is not glass. It's also like eco leather. Soft coating also with a pattern. Look at some nature right away. Do you remember such a forest? Well, it looks really beautiful. The color is also a nice green shade, beautiful. There are three cameras camera modules similar to iPhones, pro versions of the type with the camera icons located in such a triangle. Of course, big, but it looks super luxurious, and this end is like a frame. It's also glossy. That is, it also has this shimmers with a shimmer creates the effect of the high cost of the smartphone. Also green. Damn, guys, that's how they are always have some interesting colors, and they are not afraid experiment. Look, what an unusual block. Yes. Maybe someone will say that it looks comically similar on the iPhone, but it's just stupidly beautiful. It looks really nice. Although some may not like it on the right, the power button has a scanner. The volume rocker is very thin. I would make it wider, but it's not very comfortable thin, and somehow already as if sunken a little, as if it had been used for several years already dented. I would do it so that it protrudes more and is a little wider at the top. This is the second speaker at the bottom speaker connector for charging microphone. The headphone jack is preserved on the left, and the SIM tray is also included in the package. This is such a healthy, charging 33 watts, really big, 
and of course a paperclip to open the SIM tray and a USB cable type. See white color. It is located here. They hit it. You need to pull it here, this label. And here it is. The cable is located. That is, in principle, the delivery set is quite good. There's a fast charging yes cable. Yes case, yes. Film additional warranty for about a month. Not yet only missing only headphone SIM tray here supports the installation of two SIM cards. Once two. And you can also install an additional micro SD flash drive to expand the memory. That's all 108 megapixels. Ultra sensing written coding is really very nice. Soft, like leather backpack flat in front too. The screen is flat. It's only slightly rounded. It has just a little bit around the edges. Well, well, I turn it on, turn it on, turn on the new Spark 20 Pro Sun, and this can be removed for now. Delivery set. Well, in a case, let me show you the case is transparent so you can see from behind. This beauty protects the cameras. See here, there is a special influx on the case so that the cameras do not scratch the cutouts. Everything has a good quality case, but over time, transparent cases, it happens that they turn yellow with this cover. Most likely the same thing will happen. So I would sing and buy some kind of black case so that it doesn't turn yellow so the whole box can be put away. My phone is already started up. You know, by its characteristics, this phone is very important to me, reminds me of a phone that I already reviewed. It's Infinix Hot 40 Pro. Yes, perhaps these are the characteristics almost exactly the same. It is very similar, and even in design, they are somewhat similar in price, by the way, too. Well, the phone turned on. The diagonal here is 6.78 inches. This is an IPS matrix of 120 hertz and full resolution HD plus 2460 by 1080. Yes, we see here that, of course, the frames could, it would be even smaller, especially the upper frame is quite thick. The lower frame, the chin is just so specific, and the front camera itself, too, if you pay attention. Well, she's pretty like that, too. There is a large hole, and outwardly, of course, it does not live up to the name of the flagship, but on the other hand, sides up to $200. Why not? Look what Samsung produces. They still have a drop for $200. Yes, there in some Galaxy, a 34 still drops like this. Well, in general, this is the design. Let me tell you now, I'll show you in comparison with some other popular phones too. So here I also have a recently released phone from the POC company. Of course, it's shorter. It's our Poco M6 Pro. This is how it looks. It feels like it's somehow wider. This is some kind of narrow phone. This is how it looks. They look side by side. Well, basically, the dimensions are the same, plus or minus, but you see the Techno has a bigger hole, and of course it will give you a bigger chin, but it's also worth it. But it's cheaper by about thousands. How many thousands of ours? Probably if you look at these prices in official stores, then thousands of ours are cheaper. But here, I probably even like the backrest of Techno, more than that of Poco. M6 Pro is the next phone you can use. It's 23, Fay phone, which costs about two and a half times more than this. Techno is also in green, but look how different the green color is here, here. It is so more saturated here. It is very pale black. They look like this. These two phones are nearby, that is, Techno from which I conclude that Techno is quite large model. It is long, very long, narrow, and therefore, well, probably for you, it will take some time to get used to it if you had small phones before. After all, the diagonal here is like this already, like a real fable. I became interested. I actually took out the S23 and look. Ultra is even a little shorter than this Ken A. That is, it is very long. In general, one of the longest modern phones. Its length is almost 17 centimeters, 168 and 6 mm. Well, that is, damn it. Almost 17 centimeters with 76 and 6 thickness. 8.4 thickness, by the way, is normal. Even more or less, it is still protected according to IP53 standard. That is, it is light protection against splashes of dust from some small sand like this. Has a face unlock function. And like everyone else, now also has tech on Infinix. They, of course, they copy and spy on whoever you know, Apple. And that's why some kind of dynamic appears here island called Magic Ring when you unlock it. It does such a cool, cute animation. It looks for your face and that's it. Quickly unlocked. And there is also a topic here like replacing sea wallpaper locks. That is, you see that now every time I have new wallpapers. Well, it's true. There are only three of them that change. But this can also be configured in the settings. There is also a fingerprint unlock scanner. That is, once you touch, everything works quickly now. Even budget phones have learned that these scanners are not stupid. So that they respond quickly all about five years ago. They were all so laggy with these scanners in budget phones. What, it would have been better not to use this unlock at all. So, about Android here, unfortunately for now. The 13th Android may be updated in the future. But for now, it's you, Android. Why, unfortunately? Because the 14th one has already been released. 
And of course, I would like a new version on the new phone. Android, but in general, there is nothing wrong with that, of course. On the 13th Android, all applications will also be, it will take some time to install. It will be updated now. Hose 1 is installed version 135 if he gets the 14th Android. Over time, it will be very cool, and I think that they will have many of their users will be pleased with this solution. Virtual memory is added to 3 to 6 or 9 GB is the expansion RAM by default out of the box. The addition of 6 GB is already included, but I think that need because I generally have a 12 gig version. I think that this will even be enough. There is no need to add by processor. As I already said, here we have Helio G99 is a long familiar processor in, in general. It is now probably the most popular in Noi in the price segment, up to 20,000 rubles a bunch of models run on NM, two powerful Cork 76 cores and energy efficient 6 nanometers. The 5G process technology does not support, but it does support 3 G 4 G Wi-Fi 5 underscore underscore video core MG57 and fast UF's 2.2 memory. This phone has everything with the NFC module, excellent. It has an NFC module, but its sensor is shorter than five touches. I thought that they had already moved away from this and started making 10 touch sensor on all buttons. But no, back to what it was two years ago, they had sensors for five touches and this time too, five touches, six seventh I try to add, but it doesn't work for more expensive phones that cost 200. The sensor already perceives 10 simultaneous touches, only here five. Well, not a problem either but a little bit like a rollback to the past in the screen settings that you can change. You can, of course, switch to the night theme. You can adjust the brightness manually or entrust this work to your phone. Then it will adjust the brightness itself depending on the lighting. The sensor is built in here in the top. This is the top one. You can tell the frame if you look at it with a flash somewhere here. You can, somewhere here they are. These sensors are located here. They are here, they are here. You can see them a little. Yes, I don't know, it's visible. No, well, it should be a little bit, can see them just a little, and there is also a flash on the front camera. This is also a definite feature about these phones, is that for some reason they always have a flash on the front camera. And whenever you want, turn on the flashlight to illuminate something for yourself. Yes, you can turn on the flashlight 360. Then there is not only a rear flash like on a regular phone, but there is a rear flash. Yes, you turned it on to highlight something for yourself. You turned it off also, turn on only the front flash to highlight something with it. And also you, you can turn on two flashes at once and you will have both the rear flashlight and the front flashlight glowing. That is both sides at once it will illuminate and you can go. Carry it like this and it will shine to the right and to the left. Can you imagine how cool and in general it's awesome walking with a group of people somewhere in the dark. It's illuminated here so that people can see where they are advancing and here it also shines. Well, of course, this front flashlight is shining than the back, but that's all creates some kind of useful work. This is also a feature of this phone. Nice feature and interesting. I like the screen settings. You can also make the screen appear at all turn off automatically. That is, you put it down like this. Let's say you went somewhere and you'll have it like that all the time, screen time out. How long will it take? Will go out refresh rate adjustable 60, 90, or 12. Whether automatic color selection, the temperature is also regulated from colder to warmer, and according to settings here, you can also change the font size to make it larger, or vice versa smaller. By the way, on this big screen, you can do a little more to make it look more harmonious, like this. This is how it looks really great, and you can do more change the status bar to display or not display notification icons here and withdraw or not withdraw prompt battery. You can also display the network speed here. Well everyone here too, depending on yourself, you can put it there. By the way, you can also use system navigation control this phone, of course, with gestures. Some like it, some don't like it. For example, I prefer three touch buttons, but if suddenly you can do it like on iPhones, it works. Well, I can't say it's absolutely perfect, but overall it's pretty tolerable. Yes, you see these gestures if you get used to it once you get used to it. You might really like it, but I'm still more used to these three sensory ordinary buttons further on another Tutu benchmark that he typed. Well, Tutu is no longer so interesting because everyone already knows approximately how much he gains G99 and scores about 400,000 points there, depending on the modification from memory. This one specifically dials 430.000. What's most surprising is usually you know how you turn on Antuta, leave it on, the phone heats up, discharges, and then how much percent has it warmed up? Degrees. And by what percentage was it discharged? 
and this time the opposite trend occurred that it was not that it warmed up, on the contrary, it cooled down during the test. That is, it began to pass the test when it was 39 degrees and finished the test 38. That is, this is MI1. Gray during the test is generally Unicum. It's real. Unicum is not a phone. But Unicum is usually, they, they heat up by three, four gras. Flagships can warm up by 11 degrees. But this one dropped one degree, that is still cold, but lost 3% of battery. But that's not much. It's really not that much. Normal speed. The memory here is very good, really very good. It's already like some kind of standard 3.1848 MB for reading 606 per post. But this is essentially UFS 2.2, very fast memory. And the phone works. Really, really cool. It works fast. It's just fast, nimble. And the memory here is really very good. I was installed. I was surprised. And a test for throttling Helio G99, an excellent processor in terms of throttling. It doesn't throttle at all. Yes, as the graph was green at the beginning, it remained green at the end. After 15 minutes of heavy load, the phone does not work at all, reduces performance, and always works reliably. Is it cool to play on such a phone, you know? It's long, yes. In principle, it's convenient to play. It's generally straight, wide format, long, to hold in your hands, comfortable with both hands, just like that. It's also convenient to play in terms of the fact that it doesn't get very hot like flagships. It won't burn your hand. And of course, what's here IPS screen, that is, also for a long time, looking at the screen will not spoil your eyesight too much. That is, in general, yes play, but not on the highest settings. Because in some games, for example, PUBG, it's just pure for you. Well, no, we'll physically even set the maximum because he writes that it is not available for this device. Not to mention Ultra HD, there is some kind of yes. That is, you will have to be content with graphics that are just high. Well, this is not a minimum, it's still high. You understand that it's also normal, but brightness contrast saturation here. Of course, it will be worse than on AMOLED screens. That's why there are more such natural colors, but in general, I'm also looking now. Oh, damn, I'm in red turned out. Okay, let's run out of here now before it starts, but in general, you can play normally. But don't think so that this is just some kind of giant in terms of productivity. No, for two years, it will be enough, and then it will probably be no good. He's pretty cool in terms of performance. If you can say so in terms of performance in general, approximately equal to some iPhone 8. Really old if you take something from Apple for analog. So there is no one in general. Let's try the sound. By the way, yes, stereo, but something is quiet. It's like the maximum volume is about I see. But this speaker is, of course, much quieter than this one. That is, it's like this. The speaker is not fully stereo, but somewhere around one and a half like this. Well, now let's move on to the most interesting part. The cameras. I'm even a little scared to come here because expectations are too high after all. 108 megapixels. Yes, a fairly large sensor 1K about. And 67 is even larger sensor than Poco X6 Pro than Poco F5. Can you imagine how cool the camera must be here? Because here, most importantly, the module should capture more and more light with an F1.8 aperture higher resolution. But here is the second module here, generally 0.8 megapixels. And the third one, there is nothing at all about it. No information at all. That is, essentially, there is one camera. Here, no width here. Well, nothing. Maybe it's for portraiture. It's used. Here, even here. Well, here's a super macro. Yes, this is the third module for macro, but how do you plug cameras? That is, these two modules are plug cameras that are absolutely nothing special. They don't provide any special functionality. Maximum zoom here. Digital 10X here, it seems. There's also no yes here, no optical stabilization. Damn, well, that is, according to camera technology, this is certainly not the most advanced 108 megapixels turned on and doing test pictures. And something tells me based on my experience that, after all, I will say that again, these 108 megapixels are more like marketing and not really something valuable and important. Let's take a look. So I took a few pictures at 108 megapixels. Let's check the detail like this. Well, in general, yes, you can look at some large inscriptions, but small inscriptions are already merging. Here's another photo from distant poster here. Well, here. Probably the second line is readable. The first is no longer the third one is generally a good read. I look, it's hard to say whether it's worth it or not. You shouldn't include these 108 megapixels. Well, let's do without them. I think it's fine even without them. Everything comes out. This is without 108 pixels. And this is in 108 mode megapixels. Mode 108 megapixels a little more allows you to bring the frame closer. But overall, that's true too. Let's say that, just in case not seriously, he improves the video recording here. Full HD 2K and full underscore HD 60 FPS. Well, at least that's good. 
at least that's some kind of stabilization improvement in quality. What kind of improvement is this? Improving the quality is unclear. Stabilization is at least stabilization. I'm not here for stabilization. I see that the picture itself is not stabilized. Damn, there's no stabilization here at all. No even at full HD, strange, very strange. Usually you can do this in the settings turn on if you installed some other custom camera on this phone with a different processing. It would be normal here, by the way. The repainting here is a plus embellish the sky. The sky turned out just so deep blue and it came out beautifully. In fact, the sky is not like that now. The darker one is so dark gray and he made it some kind of dark blue and it looks spectacular. Really beautiful night mode, by the way. Worked fine. But here the sky is very beautiful. It turned out so dark, dark blue, really. But the house turned out to be a blackish house made of red bricks from red brick. But it turned out to be just black with black. Well, in short, regarding the cameras, I would say so again. Taking into account the cost probably work. But there are errors. There are quite useless modules weak zoom. There's no stabilization at all. And therefore, if you shoot video, it's only static. That is, standing on moving somewhere and shooting a video, the picture will shake very much. Zoom is also not worth it because zoom is here digital with loss of quality. And again, when zooming, everything shakes, everything shakes, you need to hold the phone level. This is how the picture turns out to be 10x. Well, in short, there are a lot of megapixels, but it will still lose the photo with the flagship. But overall, probably for the money. This more or less will do. Well, check, this is what it sounds like. The battery is exactly 5,000, not removable, of course. And on average, you spend about a day and a half with it, especially if you use the mode to save battery energy. Here, the curtain is divided into two parts. That is, on this side, we will pull out notification. On this side, we pull out the icon switches. That's convenient also did this now. Many people did it. Are they doing? Is there an eye protection mode in these icons? Well, these icons are also... You can also adjust it to your liking. Here are some to delete. Some are the opposite ad, actually. In fact, that's probably all I can say about this phone. Well, let's... So, let's say, yes, from the front, it certainly looks like a more budget model because the large frames of the IPS screen on one side and the plus and minus are not the same bright, not so saturated, but at the same time, your eyes won't get tired. A lot of memory is definitely a plus, excellent set. This is a plus camera for its price, it's normal, and if all the same. Maybe install some other camera or use photo and video editors. After taking a photo edit it so that it is more realistic, you can use it in general, it sounds good. Battery is standard. Like everyone else, what else on interfaces here? Yes, good that they left a size for headphones. It's good that they made it possible to install a flash drive. They left a scanner and face unlock. Well, like on all Androids, from the minuses. Let's go through the minuses, big frames, you Android, oh, not a couple, G99 probably can't be added to the cons attribute. But this is neither a plus nor a minus, just as a given. It's normal for the money, it's normal, and probably a lot competitors. Many competitors, many phones of the same brand, also with Tammy, try on the most important advantage. Its price is low. If you take it, there are thousands for 14, for 15, then this is generally the best solution. 256 gigs of memory. A lot of RAM. In general, this is not a bad choice. This is where I'll say goodbye to you. It was Spark 20 Pro. Overall, it's worth the money. The design is also pleasant for everyone. See you soon. Good luck to everyone and bye-bye.